How to protect your cannabis plants against grasshoppers. Unsurprisingly, this topic relates to those who grow cannabis plants outdoors. If you have a problem with grasshoppers indoors, that suggests your home is in desperate need of a good clean. There are actually 11 species of grasshopper in the UK and perhaps a whole lot more in your country, though perhaps a lot of you don't really want or need to know such a fact. You just want to know how to stop them feasting on your cannabis plants. So, what are your options? You can use harsh chemical pesticides. You can use non-chemical pesticides. You can introduce other predators that eat grasshoppers. You can change the growing environment. If you want to use harsh chemical pesticides, we can't stop you. But remember that these pesticides don't just kill grasshoppers, they kill all bugs, and some of them are great for the soil. In addition, your cannabis plants will absorb much of these chemicals, and therefore, so will you. If you mess with the ecosystem in your garden, you could create further problems down the line. Consider using neem oil instead. This is a natural compound that doesn't kill bugs and insects, including grasshoppers. It repels them, which is much nicer for all concerned. One of the biggest predators for grasshoppers is birds, so one of the most eco-friendly ways of controlling grasshoppers is to encourage birds into your garden or wherever you are growing cannabis plants outdoors. Put out some bird boxes, bird feeders, and make sure there are some suitable perches near your plants. Old tree branches are perfect for this. Spiders also love grasshoppers and they also love well-mulched ground. If you have a good layer of mulch around your cannabis plants, not only will this help stop the soil from drying out, but it will also encourage spiders who will then control your grasshopper population. You can consider companion plants such as lavender, chamomile, basil and dill which will attract spiders or if you have the time and inclination a few chickens or guinea fowl could help. In return for having them run around not only will they eat the grasshoppers they will fertilize the soil. This seems a pretty fair exchange but what do you say? Do you have any tips to share with us all? Let us know in the comments section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you too can become a cannabis expert.